Hello and welcome to the official YouTube channel of Tax Seekho. This video is powered by BCL India, one of the leading tax advisory firms based out of Bangalore. And I am your host, C. A. Shweta Jain. Until few years back, men were the bread earners of the family, and the whole family used to be dependent on them. But now, time has changed. Women are at par with men. and earning almost as equal as to men in the family so what happens with this with this there is more money in the house and every family is dreaming of their own dream house and yes this is coming true as well but do you know that there is some kind of tax deduction that you need to do when you are buying a property Yes there is a tax deduction in the coming video i am going to tell you your responsibility with respect to the tax deduction stay tuned Before we understand the tax implication on sale or purchase of immovable property we need to note down the residential status of the seller if the seller is a resident then this video is just apt for you however if the seller is a non resident part b of the video will be helpful for you so we are talking about deduction of tax on immovable property purchase and sale which all immovable properties are included in this any kind of immovable property including land as well as building is included as per this provision however if the sale or purchase is of agricultural land then the tds provisions will not be applicable so as per the income tax act deduction of 1% of the value of the property needs to be deducted by the buyer let me give you a small example let us say that you buy a property worth rupees 70 lakhs so 1% of 70 lakhs that is 70000 needs to be deducted by you and 69 lakh 30000 can be paid to the seller this 70000 you will not retain with yourself you will have to pay it to the government through form number 26 qb Form number 26 QB has to be filled and 70000 has to be paid to the government together with the pan details of the seller so whenever you are filing form 26 QB and making the payment of TDS you will have to keep three documents handy with you one is your pan number that is the buyer's pan number the seller's pan number and the finalized sale deed because the value that is that you can see in the finalized sale deed tax has to be deducted on that value now the question comes what is the value on what i have to deduct the tds tds has to be deducted on the amount which is there in your sale deed so in case there is any kind of refundable deposits that you are paying while buying the property please ensure that amount is shown separately in the in the sale deed or not included in the sale deed so therefore any kind of parking fee or parking allotment parking area allotment fee any kind of memberships that you are taking lifetime membership payments all these will be included in the property value and tds has to be deducted on that what if the seller does not have a pan number if the seller does not have a pan number it is recommended that he takes the pan before such transaction happens otherwise a flat 20% deduction instead of 1% has to be deducted as tds and paid to the government what can the seller do with this tax deduction for example when you deducted 70000 how does the seller get benefit out of it when you are filing the form 26 qb you have also mentioned the pan details of the seller with this the seller gets the credit of that 70000 now 
he can use that 70000 against any kind of income tax liability that arises to him or he can take a refund also out of it there are few more questions which come when we talk with respect to tds deduction what if the payment is made in installments if the payment is made in installments tds also needs to be paid in installments only and if there are more than one seller or more than one buyer then form 26 qb has to be filed separately for each seller or by each buyer this is with respect to the deduction now when do we need to pay to the government by when for example if the deal or if the uh, the transaction has happened on 15th of february then by the end of next month that is by 31st march the payment as well as filing of form 26 qb has to be done by 31st of march with this you will get an in a certificate that is your tda certificate and that has to be provided to the seller so that the seller can use the credit so this is about the provision of section 194 ia under which you need to deduct the tax now let me tell you how you make the payment by filling form 26 26 qb first you need to log in or you need to click on the address which is uh, which is given in the description below or you can type on google as pay taxes online it will direct you to a website where there are various options for advanced tax payment self assessment payment tds payments under that you will see a tab where tds on immovable property form 26 qb is there uh, you can see that link once you click on that link the form is self explanatory you will have to fill up the form with the details of your pan number the pan number of the seller as well as the details with respect to the sale or purchase once this these details are filled you can go ahead and make the payment so this is all about the provisions with respect to D tds deduction on sale on and purchase of immovable property stay tuned with us and do tell us how the video was useful to you don't forget to like share and subscribe